SAFM, South Africa's news and information leader. Thank you, Nancy. Top stories, a forensic probe into Limpopo departments gets underway and former Madagascan president returned home. Good afternoon. National Finance Department spokesperson Bulelwa Bukwana says a forensic investigation into Limpopo's five departments, which have been put under administration, have started today. Yesterday, Finance Minister Pravin Gordon indicated that the province faces a 2 billion rand shortfall, which renders it bankrupt. The departments have exhausted their budgets and overdrafts. Bogwana says the intervention team is also assisting the province to get back on its feet. Meanwhile, the province, the provincial ANC is expected to hold a media briefing on its position. Transport Minister Sbundebele says Mukonyane Matabata has been appointed as administrator to oversee the running of the Limpopo Roads and Transport Department. The department is one of those put under administration by the national government following financial mismanagement. In the past few years, the department has appointed a private company to oversee the allocation of tenders and to monitor the roads. Ndebele says the provincial department is not functional. Some of the challenges unearthed by the cabinet intervention are as follows. No contract management system is in place. Internal controls are very weak. No oversight over the Bobo Roads Agency. So those are the major weaknesses. But these shortcomings could not be left unattended by a government. Meanwhile, Justice and Constitutional Development Deputy Minister Andres Nell says his department, which is part of the joint ministerial team in Limpopo, is giving legal advice in the running of the five departments under national administration, including those in the Eastern Cape and Free State provinces. Nell explains. The Department of Justice is a part of the National Intervention Team. We're there to provide uh, legal and constitutional advice and also to ensure that uh, the necessary institutions and agencies within the Justice Crime Prevention Security Cluster are ready to do whatever they need to do. Former President of Madagascar, Mark Ravolomanana, has announced that he will return to his country tomorrow, ending three years of exile in South Africa. Speaking to the media in Santin today, Ravalomanana said he is confident he will be allowed to return home as most of the parties in Madagascar have signed the SADC roadmap aimed at bringing peace in the troubled East African island nation. The former president tried to return home last year, but the regime of Andri Rajolina refused his plane permission to land. Rava Lomanana was ousted in a coup in 2009 and sentenced to 20 years in jail in absentia by new leader Rajolina. Rava Lomanana said he returns home as an ordinary citizen in peace and does not fear arrest as he is innocent of the charges he was found guilty of. He said he will not participate in the transitional government that is currently in control of the country. Seven of the nine suspects accused for the murder of four SBV security guards during a failed cash-and-transit heist at Baltimore outside Mokopane in Limpopo in 2006 have been found guilty. One of the suspects, Kenneth Moitzila, has been acquitted on all 11 charges, while Alfia Simsiza was found guilty of theft on a motor vehicle. Judge Winston Msimeki said the state proved beyond reasonable doubt that the suspects orchestrated the heist. And finally, further afield, four French troops have been killed in northern Afghanistan after a soldier from the Afghan National Army opened fire on them. Officials say 16 soldiers were in- injured in the incident in the Tagab district of Kapisa province, north of Kabul. The Afghan soldier has been arrested by the French. Meanwhile, six soldiers serving in the NATO force in Afghanistan have been killed in a helicopter crash.